Here at Telecom's Talk, I'm joined by Faisal Asmani of Science at the Broadband World Forum. Faisal, you've just addressed the conference. One of the things you were talking about was the, the volatile state of the market at the moment. How's that going to affect 5G? Uh, thank you, Brian. Um, effectively, what, do, what we see in, in the marketplace at the moment, in the industry, is uh, a, a lot of focus on fixed mobile convergence. You have uh, mobile operators and also fixed operators converging their, uh, converging their networks. And one of the key things that we're going to see in the future, in the next uh, two to five years, especially with uh, the advent of 5G, is that the number of uh, solutions and services that are going to be provided will need to have the ability to provide enough bandwidth, speed, and network capability, and the seamless connectivity to provide those services. So in this environment we can see 5G is to be a real game changer, if you like, in terms of bringing, um, uh, enabling these services, new bundled services across the convergent sort of a, a paradigm, if you like, to be able to um, uh, to be able to get those services out to, to their customers. And to be able to do that, 5G, millimeter wave technology, um, in the, uh, is going to be able to effectively revolutionize the way that uh, uh, operators are going to be able to provide these services you know, and bring value to their customers. How are they going to sort of upscale their network to, to be ready for AI, 5G, this new environment? Well, critically, what we're going to see is uh, for, for both for in a convergent environment, uh, for both fixed and for mobile operators, you're going to have to see uh, uh, the ability to roll out, both on the fixed side, um, enough bandwidth and connectivity through, for example, connecting up fibre, um, into small cell infrastructure on the, on the radio access network side to be able to, pr to provide the ability to uh, deal with a, the, the far greater um, uh, amount of bandwidth uh, and data that's going to effectively, effectively be carried now through 5G, through, through the expansion of 5G. So there's two areas that, that, that they're going to, uh, the service providers will need to look at. On the fixed side is providing fiber to the cell site to be able to strengthen the backhaul, which has to carry this data. And of course, the expansion of small cells, densification in the radio access network to be able to support um, when the time comes to deploy 5G and, the, uh, and various things like massive MIMO and antennas there, to be able to provide the ability to, to basically backhaul that traffic and cope with these greater demands. Effectively, what the operators have to uh, strengthen their network is to be able to bring in all the things such as artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, um, smart home capabilities. All this requires you to strengthen the core network and also strengthen the access network, both on the mobile side and the fixed side, to be able to cope with these demands. And operators need to start to do that now so that they're planned and ready for when um, 5G uh, effectively begins to be implemented. Um, uh, to be able to, to cope with these demands of data traffic, to cope with the ability to, to be able to provide these services, uh, these new services, uh, as part of this digital transformation, which, is, which, which we see in the industry around us. Uh, and how do you help them do that? So Scient has a concept called plan, build, operate and transform. And effectively what we do is we, pro we, we come from an innovative engineering background. That's where Scient has, has, has come from. What we do is we provide these services from planning your network, whether that's on the fixed side or on the wireless side, to supporting the build and also to the rollout and also the main, maintain, maintenance of that network as well. So what we do is we offer services and solutions around planning your fixed and wireless network, but also we look at um, next generation solutions such as IoT, SDN NFB based solutions, and also things like optimization, small cell planning and design um, solutions and services. So both of them are our own solutions and our solutions capability. We're helping our operators effectively uh, implement their digital transformation uh, um, uh, strategies um, using these services and solutions that we provide. So we provide an effectively an end-to-end -end sort of capabilities to ensure that the net network and data and the systems are ready to be able to support um, uh, 5G and the 5G services that operators will, um, uh, will effectively need to offer um, over the new networks. Well, it sounds like you're going to be very busy in the next year or so. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.